the funeral of Headhunters member Trinity Duffy, also known as James Hellu, who died hours after a standoff with armed police has taken place in West Auckland. According to police the incident began at 7 a.m. on Friday the 24th of February, when they went to his Newington Road home in Henderson to carry out a pre-planned search warrant for Duffy who was wanted for serious offending, and were met with extreme hostility. Police retreated and surrounded his property for several hours, attempting to negotiate with Duffy, who was continuously live-streaming the incident on Facebook from inside the house. They had been trying to communicate with him throughout the day, a spokesman said, but Trin repeatedly refused to engage with police. Armed police surrounded the Newington Road house in Henderson, with the cordon blocking off multiple streets and nearby shops. In the afternoon, the armed offender squad made entry into the address and located Duffy deceased inside. His death was referred to the coroner and was not treated as suspicious. Duffy was a patched member of the Head Hunters. He had been lying in state at the headquarters of the gang's West Chapter in View Road ahead of his burial at Waikumete Cemetery. On Monday, he was taken in a convoy accompanied by a motorcycle procession from the pad around Auckland. There was a low-key police presence around the pad and the cemetery but no checkpoints. The Eagle helicopter monitored the procession as it moved around Auckland before arriving at the cemetery. The procession of dozens of bikes spent about an hour riding around the city, stopping briefly for burnouts outside the home in Henderson where Duffy died. Duffy made headlines in 2010, when he fronted Christchurch High Court charged with kidnapping and blackmailing a man for a $5,500 drug debt. He was jailed for two years and 10 months. The funeral produced stunning scenes as hundreds of bikers shut down streets in Auckland while they performed mass burnouts during his farewell. Clouds of smoke filled the streets near the cemetery as bikies burned rubber in his honor while police watched on. Bikers from rival groups such as the Tribesmen, Killer Bees, Rebels, King Cobras and the infamous Mongrel Mob all arrived for the funeral procession in their club colors, but despite the potential for trouble, police made no arrests. Police officers and detectives lingered around the funeral procession and closed nearby roads to protect the public. Officers had announced they would be actively monitoring the funeral proceedings due to the large gathering of the club members, 